hello welcome back to in my youtube channel it's me deepes rai and if you are new in my youtube channel welcome to all in my youtube channel so today i'm going to teach you how to connect your windows 7 and windows 7 using remote desktop connection it is too much easy so if you want to also connect your windows 7 uh, operating system with windows 10 then this is the right video for you just you have to watch this video until the last after watching the entire video only you will be also able to connect your windows 7 to your windows 10 operating system in one click okay so it is too much easy so without any late let's begin our tutorial so guys in this time i am just using the windows 7 okay so i can uh, so i am just using it okay so after that so if uh, so if i check this one so if i go uh, in the computer and if i click in the properties so now you can see here so this is the uh, windows 7 right so i'm using the 32-bit operating system and i'm going to connect this pc uh, with the help of uh, the remote desktop connection and i'm making this computer as a host computer and i'll connect uh, using the another computer which which will be the windows 10 operating system so for this one just you have to open your uh, command from okay so just you have to type your cmd and now you can see you will get uh, the command prompt okay so i am just typing here ip config so this will uh, uh, show you your uh, uh, your computer ip address so now you can see here, this is my computer ip address right so that is the ipv4 address okay and now okay so, so just you have to go here and just you have to click in the control panel okay so uh, you will get few options okay so there are various options available and just you have to go in the windows firewall okay and now you can see here i am just uh, there are few settings available and after that just you have to click in the all of program or feature through windows uh, firewall just you have to click here and after that you have to click in the change setting and you have to uh, come down okay and you will get the remote uh, remote assistant and uh, uh, remote desktop and the various features available just you have to tick in the home and uh, public okay so, so after that just you have to click okay but in this time uh, i have already uh, uh, selected so that's why i'm not doing anything but if you are uh in the first time uh, using the firewall setting though so so in that time make sure uh, it should be uh, selected okay so otherwise it will not work okay so after that and now i'm just uh, going to in my another pc okay so that will be my uh, windows 10 pc okay okay i'm just disconnecting this one okay so now just you have to go in the start and you have to uh, type here a remote desktop connection and you have to click here and now you can see here it is asking me my ip address or it is asking me my uh, computer name so first of all you have to type your ip address here so which is 192.168.1.9 that was my ip address and just you have to click in the connect so now we can say it is connecting okay so uh, but uh, before also i uh, connected to this computer so that's why it is working uh, in one click but i think so remote desktop connection and so i think i should do uh, display okay and local resource so there are very settings available okay so you can use any of them okay so from here so if i delete this one so now we can see it is asking me my username right okay so uh but i'm just using this one and okay and after that so now you can see it is showing me my username okay and if i click in the connect maybe this will be connected and it is asking me my password right so it means uh, so before connecting with your 
uh, host computer you have to put your the remote desktop connection password or you can use your user password so i am just using my password here and if you want to save this one just you have to click in the remember me or you can directly click in the more switch also after that just you have to click in the ok ok so it is connecting to my host computer which is the windows 7 and ok so uh, it depends on the internet speed also ok so it is connecting ok so in this way you can also connect your two computers using remote desktop connection so you can use this one in the windows 10 to windows 10 also uh, or you can use in the windows 7 to windows 8 or you can use in the windows 10 also okay i did connected my two computer using the windows 7 operating system and windows 10 operating system so hoping that you get few ideas uh, so if you are if you are still getting any kind of confusion let me know in the comment section I'll come back with another new video. Until that, goodbye. See you again.